Paris Travel Guide. Who has never dreamt of visiting Paris? If you're willing to visit the city of love for the first time, you might feel a little lost and have thousands of questions that cross mind. Where to start from? What are the major monuments that have to be visited? We'll try to answer these questions in this video. In today's video, we are going to talk about Paris Travel Guide. So let's get into it. Number 10. Visit the Garnier Opera House. At the end of the Second Empire, the architect Charles Garnier created this neoclassical work of art. Its ornate richness, eclecticism, and architectural and decorative audacity astounded people in Haussmannian Paris, where it opened in 1875 as the New Opera. Garnier got the best craftspeople, painters, and sculptors in France to work together. Garnier also used mosaics for the first time in France to decorate the gallery vaults that lead to the main hall. The Garnier Opera is now one of the most beautiful theaters with an Italian theme. High up in the Garnier Palace, Apollo still holds his golden lyre. He is just one of many gods who watch over things. When you walk into the opera, you can see how the building opens up and spreads out like tentacles. Each part has a different purpose, which gives the opera an even more theatrical feel. Number 9. Take a stroll in the heart of Paris. The best way to find Paris's hidden gems is to take a walk through the city center. Paris is more than just the Eiffel Tower. All around this famous symbol, you can find other landmarks that are just waiting to be found. But if you want a great view of the Iron Lady, plan a typical French picnic with a ham and butter baguette sandwich and a bottle of wine, and sit on the grass at Champ de Mars Park or in the Trocadero Gardens. The Hotel des Invalides is behind the Eiffel Tower. It is not a hotel. Instead, it is a group of buildings that were ordered to be built by Louis XIV. At first, they were used to house war veterans in their retirement and as a military hospital. You can now go see the tomb of Napoleon I, the military museum of the Army of France, and the big church right next to the dome. Number 8. Enjoy a romantic dinner on the Seine River. What can be more romantic than having dinner on a boat with candles in the city where love lasts forever? At dusk, you and your partner can sail down the scene, past the best monuments and Parisian-style buildings, and have some of the most romantic times of your lives. Savor the moment with elegant appetizers and a glass of champagne. This is probably one of the most romantic things to do in Paris. Number 7. Visit the Louvre Museum The museum quickly became known for the controversial glass pyramid in the courtyard of the Napoleon Wing. The Philip Auguste Fort, which was built in the 1300s and surrounds the museum, was rearranged until it became the royal residence for several hundred years. It didn't become France's first national museum, the Central Museum of Arts, until 1793. The museum's collections grew bigger every year, so they took up more and more space at the palace. Today, the Louvre is so big that it's hard to believe. It's been said that it would take nine months to see every piece of art on display. The Louvre is, in fact, one of the world's biggest museums. Its 18 acres of exhibition space show 38,000 of the 460,000 pieces of art that the museum has. Number 6. Take a stroll around Montmartre and visit the Sacre Cour Basilica. The Montmartre Butt is the highest point in the city, and it is known for both the Sacre Cour Basilica and its views of the whole city. Take a break at the busy Tertre Square, where painters, portrait and caricature artists, and other artists work outside. This is a great way to see a masterpiece in the making. Renoir and Van Gogh both rolled up the sleeves of their painting dresses at the Tertre Square. After taking the standard route, take the time to go off the beaten path and find quieter spots to fully enjoy the neighborhood. Montmartre isn't just a place for artists. It's also a cultural and culinary hub with its own unique charm. Number 5. Admire the Notre Dame Cathedral of Paris Notre Dame is the best example of Gothic architecture in France. Bishop Maurice de Sully was the one who started building the cathedral. It took more than two decades, from the beginning of the 11th century to the first half of the 14th century, to finish. The cathedral was there when the Holy Crown arrived in 1239, when Joan of Arc was set free in 1456, and when Napoleon I was crowned king in 1804. Even though the structure of the monument is known for being balanced, if you look closely, you can see some small asymmetrical details that were added to break up the monotony of classic Gothic architecture. Number 4. Paris by Night Spend an exceptional evening at the Moulin Rouge. The Moulin Rouge is the best show in Paris, if not all of Europe. 
the most famous French cabaret, has been letting people from all over the world watch the famous French Cancan dance for more than 126 years. People all over the world enjoy and admire the Moulin Rouge, both as viewers and as performers. Some of the best stage performers in the world, like Miss Dingit, Edith Piaf, Jan Gabin, Frank Sinatra and Lisa Minnelli, have played at the Moulin Rouge. Henri de toulouse lautrec a famous painter, made the cabaret even more famous with his posters and paintings, which still add to the Moulin Rouge's worldwide fame. Number 3. Enjoy a hop-on hop-off bus ride around Paris One of the best ways to see Paris and find out what to do, there is to take a bus all over the city. In addition to being a guided tour, it has large windows and air conditioning to keep you comfortable as you learn about the city's history and see its most famous landmarks, such as the Place Vendôme, the Opera de Paris, the Pantheon, Luxembourg, and the Musée d'Orsay. Day or night, with family or friends, Paris City Vision offers a variety of bus tours in Paris. Number 2. Take a riverboat cruise on the Seine Riverboats are a different way to see the City of Lights. They are elegant and traditional. Once you're on board, you'll be able to fully enjoy your time on the Seine as you pass by monuments and buildings. The Seine has always been and will always be the main route through the center of Paris. The river runs through the middle of the city and has always been an important part of Paris's history. The Seine has been seen as a geographical and economic advantage, and it has helped Paris grow, if not sometimes let it. Several landmarks in the city show that the city has a long and interesting history. From bay windows, you can see the Seine and the banks of the river. A cruise on the river is a great way to spend time with loved ones and feel like you're living in a dream. A riverboat cruise is, in fact, the most romantic place to tell the world you love someone. Number 1. Go to the top of the Eiffel Tower What would Paris be without its symbolic Eiffel Tower? Built by Gustave Eiffel to commemorate the centenary of the French Revolution, it is presented at the Exposition Universelle in Paris in 1889. 324 meters high, it is one of the most visited monuments in the world, with nearly 7 million visitors a year. It was a huge technical and architectural feat that it was built in just two years, two months, and five days. The Eiffel Tower was only supposed to stand for 20 years, but its huge popularity and Gustave Eiffel's scientific experiments kept it up for much longer. In fact, the tower's creator thought it could be used more practically as an antenna for the first radiophonic transmissions. Even though its very existence was questioned at first, the Eiffel Tower eventually won over the hearts and minds of even its harshest critics. People come from all over the world to attend events at the Eiffel Tower these days. There are so many things to do and see in Paris. If you spend a few days in the capital, take some time to visit the Rodin Museum, the Pantheon, the Catacombs, the Montparnasse Tower, or the Latin Quarter. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.